Poker is a game of skill with a healthy dose of luck thrown into it. That is, if you're pretty good at it. For most casual online players, it's a game with plenty of upswings and downswings and a long-term return on investment that'll do nicely for a few extra Christmas presents. But just as tracking software has given players the edge over their opponents, so bots are threatening to take things up a notch. Where tracking software was once the ultimate tool for online players, the bots have now taken things to a whole new level and the software is getting smarter day by day. So what exactly are poker bots and how do they work? Basically, poker bots are software used on online poker sites. Bots are computers that use mathematics and player knowledge to attempt to beat real-life human players. Bots run in the background and as a standalone program alongside the client you're running. Primarily, they track the hands that have been played and make observations that the human eye may not be able to see. It's like a HUD, but it actually plays for you too. Running a bot is pretty easy as long as they are permitted by the poker site you're playing at. They are just downloadable programs and they come with clear instruction manuals. There are plenty of bots for sale on the open market. They can track cash, MTTs or Omaha but none guarantee a winning run over the long term. This hasn't stopped some sites cracking down on them though. PokerStars was investigating a suspected high profile case of bots in 2016 Turbo Championship of Online Poker, the player was eventually found to be a human. Later it also emerged that a group of Russian players had used bots to win over $1.5 million on PLO cash games on the site. The world's largest poker room later made changes to ban all third-party softwares on its table. In practice, there are two types of players who use bots. Number one, those who don't make an easy profit. No matter how much their developers might claim to the contrary, no poker bot on the market is capable of beating the game for thousands of dollars. Typically, they might run over about 5 big blind per 100 hands. As such, people who use bots purely for their profit generating ability normally do so to clear bonuses or grind out rakeback deals. After all, why spend hours playing the game when you can simply leave a bot to unlock your deposit match before pocketing the profits and moving to new pastures? Number 2. Those who do purely for the challenge of beating what is already a notoriously complex game. But what about the players who want to beat the game? There is a certain amount of prestige associated with solving a game with as many variables as poker. Some of the brightest minds on the planet regularly enter their bots in competitions or pit them against professional opposition. So the question arises, can a bot beat regular players and is it worth the hassle? As with most things in poker, the answer is, it depends. While bots are capable of turning a profit in the long term, they are just as susceptible to the laws of variance as us regular Joes and they are also incapable of making sophisticated adjustments of the game when a player begins to exploit them. While systems like neutral networking do allow some bots to learn new strategies based on how their opponents are reacting to them, the truth is, even the most advanced bot essentially plays in a predefined manner. Once identified, it can easily be overmanured by a good opponent. That said, bots do have some obvious advantages over human players including number one, they do not tire or make poor decisions when fatigued. Number two, similarly, they do not feel the value of money or fear taking risks. Number three, some bots have built-in HUDs and can identify specific weaknesses in the players. Number four, they have no emotions and are therefore unaffected by tilt. And lastly, all their decisions are based on advanced mathematical theory. A few years ago, an anonymous poster on the 2 plus 2 poker forums had revealed how teams of cheats are targeting heads up sit and go tournaments on major poker sites using two computers to avoid bot detection efforts. Known only as God Mode 49, the whistleblower's video revealed not only the techniques being used but also names in online chats with the bot cheat gangs which he claims to originate in Bulgaria. The teams target high stakes heads up sit and go tournaments across numerous sites. This form of play has been essentially solved by computers which allows the scammers to play as normal on their first computer. The second computer receives a stream of the play and uses optical character recognition software to decipher the cards. Another program then analyzes the game information and gives a GTO response for almost all plays. This of course is more than enough to win against almost all humans playing Hyper Turbo, Heads Up Sit and Goes and a multi-tabling bot using this technique can win huge sums. Although the ploy has been known in theory for quite a while, it's the first time the poker community has seen it in action and in such a detailed way. 
The anonymous source explains that the Botwing operates out of Bulgaria and hide their true identities using VPN software that shows up as Germany and Malta. He also claims that 888 Poker, WPN and Micro Gaming Network are also being targeted up to $1,000 stakes at Heads Up Sit and Goes. The team are also developing special software to avoid detection, mentioning that Party Poker's bot detection might force them to focus on other sites more. Initially, bots were very simplistic and even if you weren't aware you were up against a bot, an average player would have no problem beating them. However, as time goes by and technology advances, things are starting to change. Modern day bots are capable of using stats and complex calculations performed by so-called solvers. Solvers play a huge role in today's game as they represent the ultimate learning tool for all the players. But they can be abused as well. Researchers are busy developing new bots that are effectively better than people. Not only do they play optimum strategy in particular situations, but they can also bet hard and, most importantly, bluff just like humans. In recent years, the game theory optimum strategy has come a long way. This is an approach to the game that seeks the best possible plays in every scenario regardless of other players actions. So in theory, if you play perfect GTO, you don't have to worry about what other players are doing, you will eventually make a profit. Of course, if you know a bit of Hold'em or PLO, you are aware that these are very complex games so remembering what GTO plays for every possible situation is virtually impossible for a human being. But for a bot, this is possible. Bots don't have problem with memory and they don't get confused. As long as they run on a computer with enough storage space and processing power, they can reach a perfect decision for almost every scenario and this is dangerous. More powerful poker bots have been built just for the purpose of research named Liberatus and Pluribus who have successfully managed to crush poker pros but we will talk about that in a separate video. Regardless, you'll still want to know when you're playing against a bot so you can exploit or report it. Here are a few signs. Number 1. Making decisions within the same time frame. A real poker player takes time to make decisions and the time it takes for them to decide can vary among turns. AI differs in that it does not make decisions based on a routine timer. It may decide on plays exactly 3 seconds after its turn begins every single time. Besides its programming, bots make choices in this fashion because they don't actually have to think. Instead, they operate based on encoded rules and mathematical principles. Number 2. Leaving and entering games when a specific number of players are present. Another habit that poker bots exhibit involves entering tables and setting out based on the number of available players. For example, certain AI may be programmed to only play cash games where 6 or more players are present. If the table suddenly becomes shorthanded, they will sit out until more grinders pull up cyber seats. Number 3. Using the same bet size in certain spots. Many poker players use uniform bet sizes in certain situations. For instance, they might make preflop raises worth 3x the blind every time. However, AI is especially bad about uniform wagers. They may have a predictable pattern for their preflop, C bets, turn and river bets. Such uniform bet sizes are not only giveaways to bot behavior but can also be exploited by skilled players. Number 4. No chatting. While AI has gotten much better at playing online poker, it still hasn't mastered one complexity. Chatting with fellow players. Many bots have been exposed due to their silent nature in the chat box. Some players who suspect AI behavior will intentionally curse out bots to draw a response. Number 5. May be part of a bot ring. AI can either be playing solo or working as a part of a ring. The latter proves more lucrative for those who go through the trouble of designing and using these programs. These programs can feature identical stats via a heads up display. If several opponents at the table all boast of an odd stat like 30% raise flop for example then they may work as a group of bots. Bots are an undeniably large part of online poker these days. The good news though is that you don't have to be victimized by them. Instead you can watch for certain signs to identify AI. Once you feel confident that you are dealing with a bot you can either report it or not play against it. You will help out the poker community by getting rid of these programs. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description. And if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.